Yellowstone National Park, a place of unparalleled natural beauty and wonder, a land of geysers that shoot boiling water high into the air, bison that roam freely across vast plains, and landscapes that take your breath away with their sheer magnificence. But beneath this serene facade lies a slumbering giant, a supervolcano capable of unleashing unimaginable devastation. This hidden behemoth is one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world. The very ground we walk on trembles with the power of the Earth's molten heart. The geothermal features we marvel at are mere surface expressions of the immense energy lurking below. Scientists estimate that Yellowstone's supervolcano has experienced three catastrophic eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. These eruptions have shaped the landscape and left a lasting mark on the geological history of our planet. Each eruption dwarfing even the most powerful volcanic events in recorded history. The scale of these eruptions is almost beyond comprehension, with each one releasing energy and material on a scale that defies imagination. The last super eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago. This event reshaped the landscape and had far-reaching effects on the global climate and environment. It ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of rock, ash, and volcanic material into the atmosphere. This massive outpouring of material created a volcanic winter, drastically altering the climate for years to come. To put this in perspective, the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, which devastated hundreds of square miles, ejected a mere one cubic kilometer. The difference in scale is staggering, highlighting the potential for destruction that Yellowstone holds. The question isn't if Yellowstone will erupt again, but when. Scientists are constantly monitoring the volcanic activity, looking for signs that might indicate an impending eruption. The stakes are high, and the potential consequences are enormous. Understanding and preparing for this eventuality is crucial for the safety and well-being of millions of people. Imagine a day that begins like any other, the sun rising over the majestic peaks of Yellowstone. Suddenly, the earth shudders violently. A deafening roar tears through the air as the supervolcano awakens from its long slumber. Molten rock, superheated gas and ash are ejected miles into the atmosphere. A deadly pyroclastic flow, a hurricane of scorching ash and gas, races across the landscape at hundreds of miles per hour. Within a radius of hundreds of miles, life as we know it ceases to exist. The immediate blast zone is instantly incinerated. Towns and cities in the surrounding states, from Idaho to Wyoming and beyond, are buried under a thick blanket of ash and debris. The scale of the destruction is difficult to comprehend. As the initial eruption subsides, a new threat emerges, the ash cloud. Millions of tons of volcanic ash are launched into the stratosphere, creating a massive plume that darkens the sky for thousands of miles. Carried by prevailing winds, the ash cloud spreads eastward, engulfing the entire continental United States within days. Major cities like Denver, Chicago, and New York disappear beneath a thick layer of ash. Air travel grinds to a halt as the abrasive ash cripples aircraft engines. The weight of the ash collapses roofs, blocks transportation routes, and contaminates water supplies. The air becomes thick with ash, making it difficult to breathe. The most devastating consequence of a Yellowstone super eruption is the onset of a volcanic winter. The massive amount of sulfur dioxide injected into the stratosphere forms sulfate aerosols, microscopic particles that reflect sunlight back into space. This reduces the amount of solar radiation reaching the Earth's surface, leading to a significant drop in global temperatures. Average temperatures could plummet by as much as 10 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit, for a decade or more. Growing seasons are shortened, crops fail, and ecosystems are thrown into disarray. The delicate balance of life on Earth is disrupted on a global scale. Section 5. Echoes of the Past, Super Eruptions in History. Throughout the annals of time, super eruptions have left indelible marks on our planet, shaping landscapes and influencing the course of human history. While a Yellowstone super eruption may seem like a distant threat, history provides stark reminders of their potential impact. These colossal events have the power to alter climates, devastate ecosystems, and challenge human survival. The Toba eruption on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, approximately 74,000 years ago, is believed to have plunged the Earth into a volcanic winter lasting several years. 
This eruption ejected an estimated 2,800 cubic kilometers of volcanic material into the atmosphere, creating a thick veil of ash that blocked sunlight and drastically cooled the planet. Some scientists believe that this event may have decimated early human populations, creating a genetic bottleneck in our species' history. This bottleneck suggests that the human population was reduced to a few thousand individuals, leading to a significant reduction in genetic diversity. More recently, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia caused the year without a summer. This eruption was the most powerful in recorded history, releasing an immense amount of ash and sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. Crops failed across Europe and North America, leading to widespread famine and social unrest. The lack of sunlight and cooler temperatures resulted in poor harvests, food shortages, and economic turmoil, affecting millions of lives. The eruption of Yellowstone would be far more catastrophic than Tambora, with global consequences that are difficult to fathom. Such an event could release thousands of cubic kilometers of ash and gases, disrupting global weather patterns, causing massive agricultural failures, and leading to a humanitarian crisis on an unprecedented scale. The sheer magnitude of a Yellowstone super eruption would challenge modern society's ability to respond and adapt, highlighting the importance of understanding and preparing for these rare but devastating natural events. Section 6. Famine's Grip, a world without harvest. The most immediate and devastating impact of a volcanic winter is on global agriculture. The combination of reduced sunlight, cooler temperatures and ashfall would devastate crops worldwide. Food shortages would quickly escalate into widespread famine, affecting billions of people. The intricate global food supply chain, already strained by a growing population, would collapse under the weight of such a catastrophe. The social and economic consequences of a global famine are difficult to overstate. Mass migrations, civil unrest, and international conflict are all potential outcomes. The very fabric of civilization would be tested as humanity struggles to survive in a world transformed. Section 7. Can we stop it? The quest to defuse Yellowstone. The prospect of a Yellowstone super eruption is a sobering reminder of the immense power of nature. The sheer scale of such an event would be catastrophic, with the potential to affect not just the United States but the entire world. The ash cloud alone could disrupt air travel, affect climate patterns, and cause widespread agricultural failures. Scientists are actively monitoring the volcano, using a variety of instruments to track its every tremor, bulge, and gas emission. These instruments include seismographs, GPS units, and gas analyzers, all working together to provide a comprehensive picture of the volcano's current state. Some researchers have even proposed ambitious plans to mitigate the risk of a catastrophic eruption. These plans range from the theoretical to the highly experimental, each with its own set of challenges and potential benefits. One such proposal involves drilling into the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone and circulating water through a network of pipes. The idea is to gradually cool the magma, reducing the pressure and the likelihood of an eruption. This would slowly cool the magma, potentially preventing a super eruption. The process could also generate geothermal energy, providing a renewable energy source as a side benefit. However, such a project would be incredibly complex, expensive, and not without its own risks. The logistics of drilling into a supervolcano are daunting, requiring advanced technology and significant financial investment. Tampering with a supervolcano could have unintended consequences, potentially even triggering the very eruption we are trying to prevent. The balance between risk and reward is delicate, and the stakes could not be higher. As scientists continue to study Yellowstone, the quest to defuse this geological giant remains one of humanity's most challenging and urgent endeavors. Section 8. In the shadow of the supervolcano, a call to prepare. The supervolcano beneath Yellowstone is a stark reminder of the forces that shape our planet. While we cannot prevent a future eruption, we can strive to understand the risks and prepare for the potential consequences. This includes investing in early warning systems, developing strategies for food security, and fostering international cooperation to address the global challenges that would follow a super eruption. In the shadow of the supervolcano, we are reminded of the fragility of our existence and the importance of safeguarding our planet for future generations. By acknowledging the risks and taking proactive steps to prepare, we can increase our resilience to such